Hey coach, I uh, hope you're enjoying the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. We love those. Also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you want to become a better coach in a less than a dollar a day, you can, you can do that. My mentor, my personal email address, I will help you become a better basketball coach. Go over and check it out. Let's head back to the video. This drill is uh, one that we do in a, several different ways. We call it three on two shooting. Uh, we can really break it down to what we want to work on that specific day. Defense is always going to start with the ball. They can throw it to anyone in any of these drills for the most part. We really want to put the uh, grouping on our players. Like we we're talking about communication and drills. Like how are you guys rotating? Nobody should be staying on offense the whole time. You have to rotate offense and defense. We can use, you know, we don't usually want to have more than six people in a group, but we definitely can have six or seven in a group. And you're always going to have three offensive players versus two defensive players. If we want to be working on a jump stop and passing around the defense, we can add that is like, here's our focus today. No matter which one of these three on two drills that we're going to do, we'll even take it to the level we're working on uh, ball screens that day we'll add a, a ball screen to it. Instead of having to do another ball screen drill, we can add it into this. Yeah, we only have two defensive players, but then we go to the reading the floor and where is that tag? Where is the extra offensive player at, which gives us a shooting drill and gives us a read the court, make decisions, fits right into our .5 offense of when I catch the ball, I should be making a decision in less than .5 uh, seconds and we think we can add this into just about any offense that we're going to work on on a daily basis here in the first drill we don't have a lot of rules this is just our basic three on two shooting uh, we're just telling them hey jump stop to make a pass we should be shooting great shots uh, one rule we usually do too is layups and threes only that could easily be changed for your team defense is always going to start with the ball they can pass anywhere. Offense has the advantage. We should be taking great shots all ever, throughout the drill. Even on that one, yeah, we drove into traffic. Not a great decision. We're not going to stop and tell them that. But we're, that's something they should be able to pick up on their own. We have a jump stop, kick out, one more pass. We gave up a good shot to get a great shot. You know, as you're going to see in this, I've got some different groups going. This is five guys that could have been, you know, all area Chicago players. So it's going to look a little bit better with this group than some of the other groups we have going in here. We're just, can we get open shot after open shot? It's going to be a little bit different each possession. What did you read? What did you see? We're just trying to get some quick reps. This is usually a drill we're going to do early in practice, but I'm also a big believer of switching drills up. You know, it might be something we add to the end to say, hey, we need we didn't have great ball movement today. Our decision making wasn't great. This is what we're going to finish practice with. We are definitely not a team that, you know, always starts with the same drill. Here you see our five man, you know, he's taking the ball to the rim two possessions in a row. That was his read. That was his decision. He could shoot the three, but it wasn't as good as the other four players. Here we see uh, the next season. You know, we're in COVID season here. We have masks on. Um, not going to have, have quite the same ball movement. We have the same drill. We're getting better at it daily. You know, we, we're looking, how do we get the ball to that open guy? That's a big part of our offense of uh, reading the court before we're running plays so who is open that man should be shooting every single possession um we're not real worried about like well that guy was a better shooter we'd rather have that in the game and these drills we're looking for the right you know the right read on was i guarded was i unguarded move the ball for that uh next drill here we have um we are going to go three on two shooting, but the first or second catch has to drive. All right. So we can, defense can throw it to anybody. The Whoever catches the first or second pass has to drive. We can allow them to get a layup. 
we can change the rules a little bit we can say there's no layup we can do different things we'll mess around with these drills add different things for them constantly to be working on defense you know are we saying like you know here we're saying don't allow the layup we're trying to contest threes and here's one of the other things we're working on here too at the same time is duality of purpose we're working on offense and defense at the same time defensively we switch a lot but even if we weren't we're not just going to leave a guy wide open we are big believers on mismatches are not going to beat us open shots will be so we're constantly stressing like closeouts different things here but at the same time we're in a small sided game where we're getting reps so here defense can throw it to anybody first or second pass has to drive we should be getting wide open shots but at the same time defense you've got to get out there and close out you know we again stressing here they have to figure out how to rotate you know this is taking a little bit longer we would probably be like come on figure it out hurry up second man drove there wide open shot that's what we're looking for in our offense quick decisions 0.5 i shouldn't have a long time to make the decision second guy's driving reads the court we have an open shooter up oh, doesn't like that shot moves it we get an even better shot next drill here three on two deny a shooter so we would probably actually move this drill up in our decision making it wouldn't be like a late addition to this this might even be one of the very first drills we do in a season but we are going to try to really work on the read here who is the defense going to leave open we're trying to get the guy that's driving you have to make the right decision so defense starts with the ball again there we're going to swing it along the perimeter we're going to stop the drive there we're not this one maybe not quite as big of a defensive drill we had an, another defender take away a shooter and we're looking at can the ball handler pick out who is the open player that's who we are trying to get the shot to so this is who did the defense guard that's not the guy we're trying to go to we're trying to go to the other one so we swing the ball we stop the ball we take away a shooter we're going to the other shooter there like i said this is probably going to be a drill we've moved up into our practices and you know first practice of the season this might be one of the top five drills we do of this is how we read the court you're driving who did the defense leave that's what we're working on with decision making not just running plays so drive take away the drive take away a shooter we're going to the player that is left open by the defense we also said we could add things in this drill where we might be working on a different skill for us we're going to set some ball screens we're not a real heavy ball screen team or a dribble handoff that's something we'd probably do even more than ball screen we're fine with it only being two players because as you see in some of these drills we're doing we're looking of where is the guy not being guarded and we see that in games even at the highest levels of varsity boys basketball in chicago of they took away your layup they took away this shooter no one is guarding that guy that's where our read is going to be at Thanks for watching, Coach. Make sure you go over and check out ttroops.com for coaches who want to get better. Make sure you subscribe so you get notified every time we come back on. But you will not be disappointed with ttroops.com. 14-day free trial. Let's go check it out. Have a great day.